Are you stuck on writing a song? I'm gonna show you one simple, clear, effective way to get unstuck. Hello, I'm Gary from Golden Lotus Studio, and if you're stuck writing a song, I get it. I've been there so many times. Because I've been there so often, and because I've had to get out of there because I'm writing on a deadline, I have about a hundred tricks in my back pocket for getting unstuck. And I'm just gonna pull out one and show it to you today. Hang on, it's in the other pocket. So this trick comes from music school. For those of you who went to music school, let's go back there, shall we? Play the heart music. I remember it like it was just yesterday. For those of you who've been to music school, I'll take you back there. And for those of you who haven't, I'll show you a little peek inside the horrors. <laughs> the horrors and the joy. I mean, it was fun. Picture me. It's gonna take all your mental capacity to do this. Picture me as a young man in rhythmic dictation class, ear training, and the teacher would count a measure of four, four, and then play a rhythm. One, two, three, four. And then we would have to notate that rhythm. And we would only get three listens of this particular rhythm. And that was kind of our practice, but it was also our testing. The method that we were taught was even the first time, write down as much as you know or can guess at, even if it's wrong, to try and put something down on paper of what that rhythm is. And the thinking of writing it down was that if it's wrong, the second time you listen to the rhythm, it'll be easier if it's written down for you to see where it's wrong, comparing it to what you're hearing, right? Come back to present moment. Let's say you've got a song you're working on right now. You're not sure what should happen in the third verse. You've got the melody, you've got the basic story, verses one and two are popping. Verse three, you're not just not sure what it should do, where it should go, what it should be. Do we want to heighten the characters? Do we want to take a left turn? Do we want to... <laughs> and so you start to write something and you don't like it. And so you get stuck, right? You get that editing critical mind turns on and you get stuck. Here's the exercise inspired by my undergrad music teacher. Write down as much as you know, including some wrong stuff. That way, once you get it out of your head, you'll be able to tell what's right about it, what's wrong about it. If it only stays in your head, it's likely to just cycle around and never get built. But I dare you to write the wrong thing for that verse three or whatever it is in your song that feels stuck. Write the wrong thing or write as much as you can that seems right about it and then write some wrong stuff in there. The singer of the song needs to encounter some new phenomenon in the third verse. Uh, it's a pickle vendor. Okay, pickle vendor is definitely wrong, but I'm gonna write it down. I stepped out upon my porch and I met the pickle vendor. So wrong, right? Stepping out on the porch, that's okay. It's maybe not quite landing 100%, but it's, it's a B plus. But the pickle vendor's not right. Why is the pickle vendor not right? Some distance between pickle vendor and what is right, you're gonna get some information about that. And maybe even the next step is to draw a circle around pickle vendor and put some things in all different directions of life, of poetics, of spirituality. Who are all the other characters? What are all the other situations that your songwriter could encounter there? Something about putting this pickle vendor down is gonna give you information that takes you to the next step. If you don't believe me, try it, I dare you. And if you want mentorship, support, song circles, a cohort, coursework, coaching, any of the above, to help you bring your song to the next level, come see me over at goldenlotusstudio.com. <laughs>